In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use both Panopto and Zoom at the same time to record your lecture so that you can share the Panopto link with your students and they can view uh, your class. This will go to the Panopto side. This will not go to the Zoom side. If you need to know how to use Panopto or Zoom, there are links in the description of this video, which will take you to how to's for both of those platforms. First, go ahead and log into Panopto choose create, and then choose to record a new session. Uh, if you can't record a new session or you don't see under your name over here, uh, download Panopto email onlinehelp at okcu.edu and we will make sure that your account can uh, record. That will bring up the record a session which looks like this. Give your session a title, uh, session name, so whatever you need to do to call it that works for you, and then make sure that the record PowerPoint box is checked. Now my screen will look just a little bit different than yours because I'm on a Mac computer. The Windows choices, I don't think it says slides, I think it says inputs or something similar. So, uh, but down here you'll see a spot where it allows you to check off uh, to record the PowerPoint. So do that. Now, once you have your session titled and the record PowerPoint checked, go ahead and start recording your lesson with Panopto. As you're recording your lesson with Panopto, we need to now prepare your PowerPoint and Zoom so that you can share all of these things. So I'm going to open my PowerPoint first and make sure that it's open and visible on the screen. And then I'm going to start my Zoom meeting. So I'm going to go into Zoom, and if you've already got your meeting scheduled, you click into that. And again, my screen looks a little different because I'm on a Mac, um, but you're gonna go ahead and click into your meeting and join all the way in there. All right, now I've got my PowerPoint open, I've got Panopto going, I've got my Zoom class started, so now is the time to share your PowerPoint slide deck. Choose the share screen feature, and when you do that, one of those options is going to be the PowerPoint. Choose that. And then this is gonna send the PowerPoint part of your screen out to all of your students. So you'll notice that the PowerPoint screen is now surrounded by this green box right here. So this green box surrounds my PowerPoint and that tells me as the host of the Zoom meeting, that's all the students can see. But Panopto doesn't recognize the PowerPoint as its own thing yet. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to present my PowerPoint. Now my PowerPoint is visible to, as a full screen on my screen, Panopto recognizes it, and I'm sharing it to my students. So everybody can see everything at this point in time. Navigate through your slide deck as you see fit. I recommend talking about or going over information on two or three slides and then stopping your screen share to check in with students and see how they're doing uh, and then come back and share your screen with your PowerPoint again. So we're gonna go through all of our slides and this is a rough outline of a slide deck that I'm working on for a presentation later this summer, hopefully. So here's our slide deck. We're all done and so we're finished learning. We're gonna escape out of our slide deck. We're gonna stop sharing and then have a classroom discussion or whatever else thing needs to happen. Once all of that is done and your class is over and it's time to do what you need to do to move on to the next class or prepare or just end this course, go ahead and click the end meeting button in Zoom and Panopto is still going. So now that Panopto is still going, I'm gonna come back into Panopto and I'm gonna say time to stop. And when I do that, my meeting has ended for Panopto, my screen recording has stopped for Panopto, and it will process to the Panopto cloud. Okay, uh, we've uploaded our video to Panopto, it's processed through, and you can see that right here on, this, on my screen, and you can see also I've been practicing trying to get all of this up and prepared for you. So how to use Panopto in Zoom. Once this is ready to go, your link will turn blue just like this link is right now and you can click into that link uh, and see how it's going to look. And you'll see and you'll see that this is what the students are going to see. They're going to have this sort of overall view of everything. But I want to show you what you, you can do here. If you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a slides uh, button. 
In Panopto, when you click the Slides button, it takes away your main screen and it shows you the slides that you were using during your presentation. So the students can click on that and see the slides. At the same time, if you look on the left, the text for the headlines of those slides is also listed over here under Contents. So students can actually click through the different slides to go to that specific spot in Panopto. So that's available for them as well. Uh, and then lastly, from your video, if you want to share it and haven't done so in the past, once your video is done and is processed, you can choose to share that video by clicking the share button. And then you get the link right here at the top of the page, which you can then share with your students. Your students will have to log in. Anyone at the organization can see that. And so the organization is Oklahoma City University and the students can use their credentialing to view the video. That's it. That's how you use Panopto and Zoom at the same time to teach a synchronous course. As always, if you have any questions at all, you can email us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu.